My name is Amber Smith and I'm a fourth year graduate student in the Janet Smith Lab. And today I'll be showing you around our lab and giving you guys a little tour. Hi, my name is Stephen Bernard and I'll be giving you a tour today of the Janet Smith Lab. Because crystallography is dependent on having pure protein samples, we use um, FPLC to purify our protein. And here um, is the pump that we use. We don't have to use gravity and we have nipple columns and gel filtration columns set up here. And they're hooked up to our computer where we can um, develop our own protocols and so we can leave them running without having to worry about in this room, we have a lot of the workhorses of the lab. We have our large centrifuges for spinning down cultures and cell lysates, our tabletop centrifuges for concentrating protein and spinning down samples, and then over here we have our large-scale incubators for growing up protein cultures and bacterial cultures, and then incubators for plates. We also have our HPLC instrument, which we use for chromatography of small molecules and proteins typically for analytical experiments. So once you have purified protein, the next step for crystallization is to set up commercial sparse matrix screens. And there are a plethora of screens that you can purchase through different companies. And so setting them by hand can be very challenging and tedious. So we have the um, Griffin robot that can set trays for us. And um, it sets 96 well trays. And we can even do um, volumes as small as 0.2 microliters. This is our climate-controlled crystallization room where we store our crystallization experiments. Each member of the laboratory has a cubby where they hold their crystallization experiments. The room is climate-controlled and the humidity is controlled as well. We can examine our crystallization experiments in microscopes over here. We have a room that's held at 20 degrees and a room that's held at 4 degrees so we can test temperature with this variable in our crystallization experiments. Since time of the synchrotron is limited, we use our home x-ray source to test initial crystallization conditions and determine if our crystals are actually protein crystals. We also use this setup to test and see if we have good cryo conditions for our crystals. Hello, this is our computer room where we um, index, integrate, scale, molecular replace, and process all of our data and solve structures. So here's where we have meetings where we can Skype with our collaborators and so it doesn't matter how far they are, we can talk to them whenever we want and talk about the research that we've done and what directions we should go down.